Well, we're back in Burning Dinosaurs Laboratory here. Uh, this is going to be a little nerdy again. Just a little warning for you. <clears throat> so, on another video I had said that I had an issue with the tachometer that I was using, which this is another one of the same ones that's in the cluster that I'm going to use. 4,000 RPM has the fuel gauge built in, which I am repurposing. Um, and this actually, so the RPM would be appropriate for the, the Cummins that I've got in there. But this actually is designed to run off of a signal from an alternator, which is approximately 30 times the signal that would come from like a distributor or four notches on the balancer using the stock uh, crankshaft uh, position sensor uh, that the Dodge, that a 94 second gen Dodge would come with. Okay, I don't want to use the alternator. I don't think that that's a super accurate way. I mean, sure, I could tune it, but you get belts that are a little off, and they could sit in the pulleys a little differently. I just, I know it's a serpentine pulley, but I just, nope, don't want it. I want it to be off of the crankshaft. I've already ground the two extra notches, so I want to be able to use that. So this was one attempt at doing it. This is pretty nerdy here, but this is basically a 555 timer circuit that is sending a signal to another little tiny Arduino. Uh, it's called a DigiSpark. And I'm reading that signal from the uh, 555 and then re-outputting the signal only at 30 times, well, roughly 30 times the same frequency. So right now it is outputting 206 hertz from the 555 timer, which is reading about 3200 RPM on the TAC, which is would be correct. But as you can see, it's fluttering. So I don't really like that idea. This TAC over here is actually for a gas engine. That's why it goes up to 5000 RPM. But I don't want my TAC for the Cummins to go to 5,000 RPM and really only use the first three-fifths of it. I want it to go to 4,000 like a typical diesel TAC would. So this is how I'm going to get around it. I am going to take this circuit board back here, focus, and it is set up for four pulses per revolution like you would see on a eight cylinder uh, gas engine but it's also set up for 5000 rpm and so I can actually adjust that I can use one of these oops, multi-turn potentiometers to replace uh, See that goofy looking little uh, circuit right there with the lines on it? That is how these things are tuned at the, at the factory. Those are actually resistors on there and they grind off a certain amount until it reads the correct resistance and sets the tachometer uh, signal or the tachometer readout to be correct. So I'm going to take this circuit board I'm going to put it on this tack and hopefully it works. And see that guy down there, focus, is not the same pinout. It's not the same circuit. So I don't really know how to modify that one, but I do know how to modify this one. So stay tuned. I'll show you what I did and hopefully it works. Okay, so I have taken the circuit board from the gas 5000 rpm tac <clears throat> and i am just inputting this signal from the 555 timer it is at 305 hertz which you probably can't see okay which actually should be uh on a diesel tac should be well actually on any tac 
on any V8 tack should be 4,572 RPM. And that's zeroed out at 4,000 RPM right there. So it's it would have been off on the 5,000 RPM tack, and it's still off on this one, obviously. But it's actually closer to what I need, so hopefully it won't take much to adjust it. So be right back. Okay, so according to my calculations, 267, well, roughly, hertz will be about 4,000 RPM. So I've got just under that. And with the new chip in there, it shows just under 3,000. So I need to adjust that until it shows 4,000, and then it should be accurate. So I'll do that now. Okay, I'm a little bit low on there, but now I've got this reading 4,000. So there's my new resistor soldered into the new pin, or the the pins there with the cut <clears throat> so there you go that's how you can make your eight cylinder tack adjustable to calibrate it or to change it its output to uh oops. might be short wiring that change its output to a different RPM.